Welcome to Moments in Time and Space, a microfiction podcast, bringing you tales of horror and suspense with your host, Aaron Miracle. Hello, everyone. Advances in technology have improved our lives and made things easier for us. This has also led many people to blindly trust new tech. After all, what harm could it do? Pain pulsed through Julie's body, and it shocked her into consciousness. Her eyes snapped open, and a bright light stabbed like a knife at her brain. She shut them again instinctively, and fought the panic welling up inside of her. Cold air washed over her cheeks, and the smell of the damp earth filled her nostrils. Something warm and wet slowly flowed down her forehead. The liquid slid past the bridge of Julie's nose, and crossed her lips in a steady stream. Every lick of her lips was met with a sharp metallic taste that made Julie gag slightly. Communication error. Collision detected. The words startled Julie. They had appeared without warning in her head, and it took her a moment to realize their source. Communication error. Collision detected. The messages were coming from the Helco Sin chip that was implanted in her brain. After hearing it from all her friends and how it had changed their lives, Julie decided to get one as well. The implant removed the need for her to carry a phone or even to own a laptop. With a thought, Julie had the knowledge of humanity in her head and access to all the services a human could ever need. It felt like having an ever-present caring parent who was always listening and always knew what to do. At least, that is how the nice salesperson from Helco had described it. Communication error. Contacting emergency services. Holding her breath, Julie slowly opened her left eye a crack. The bright light was more tolerable, and she could make out that she was sitting in the twisted wreck of what was once her car. Through the cracked windshield, Julie could see some sort of embankment that she remembered sliding over as she lost control of her vehicle. Nothing else recognizable was in her field of vision, and Julie did not want to risk turning her head in case she had a neck injury. Call failed. User requires medical attention. Julie was thankful that the sin ship responded to mental commands and not rely completely on vocal orders. Julie was thankful that the sin ship responded to mental commands and did not rely completely on vocal orders. She wasn't sure what shape her jaw was in, or if she had the energy to vocalize anything other than a grunt. Julie focused on her implant and thought, Sin ship? Status of cellular communications. Communication error. Contacting emergency services. The implant gave no indication if it heard Julie's command or chose to ignore it. She closed her eyes and groaned softly in frustration. It would just be her luck that when she needed the sin ship the most, that it would experience an issue. Julie made a mental note to contact Helco to ask what her warranty options were once she got out of this mess. Call failed. User requires medical attention. If she sat still, Julie could bear the spasms of pain that were torturing her body. She slowed her breathing and tried to focus on relaxing her body. All she had to do was to remain calm and keep her hopes up that someone would find the crash scene soon. Engaging user assist mode. Enhanced interfacing, commencing. A mild tingling sensation started at the base of Julie's skull, and she winced. It began to grow in intensity and started to spread down her spine. She could feel the tingling spreading as it entered her limbs. It felt like a million little bugs were crawling all over her body, and their legs were threatening to poke through her skin with each step they took. The feeling was so uncomfortable that Julie had to move, and this caused her body pain to intensify. She let out a few screams of agony and stopped moving. Waves of nausea began to wash over her. User assist mode has been engaged. Something inside of Julie forced her eyes to open, and the bright light attacked her brain once more. The pain soared to levels well beyond Julie's tolerance and pushed her stomach over the edge. She began to vomit uncontrollably. The contents of her stomach burned her throat as they flew upward and out of her mouth, coating the front of her in a hot fall mess. Users are experiencing mild discomfort. Between the dry heaves shaking her body, Julie gained enough clarity to send orders to the sin ship. Stop, sin ship, stop. Disengage user assist mode. User requires medical attention. The fingers in Julie's right hand slowly curled and uncurled. She fought to make them stop moving, but failed. She watched in horror as her right arm rose stiffly in a robotic fashion. With jerky motions, it reached over and began to unfasten her seatbelt. 
Stop, stop, stop. Sinchip, stop. Julia screamed in her mind. Retrieving last known location. Calculating path. Nearest medic facility is 2.5 miles southeast. Proceeding to route. Her arms reached out and forced the door of her wrecked vehicle to open. Julie felt her body lean and her legs swung out the open door. The implant tried to force Julie to leave the vehicle and stand, but she collapsed into the dirt wailing in pain. Her right leg had crumbled under her weight and was probably broken judging from the word angle it laid at. Mobility impaired. Compensating. Proceeding to root. The tingling sensation dancing across Julie's skin increased and adrenaline surged through her body. Against her will, the implant ordered Julie to roll onto her stomach. Blood and tears flowed down her face and mixed the dirt under her to transform into a gooey mess. Her right hand came up and planted itself firmly into the blood-soaked mud. Her left hand matched the gesture and both arms pushed Julie's body upward. Julie screamed until her voice was hoarse and she felt her left leg come up under her. Proceeding to root, estimated travel time is five hours. The implant forced Julie to raise her head as she saw the steep embankment looming before her. With one more jolt of adrenaline from the implant, Julie began to crawl like a toddler. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. You can also follow me on Twitter and Moments in TAS. Feel free to recommend this podcast to others and help it grow. The opening and closing theme is Creepy Night by Daniel Carlton. Until next time, be safe, be smart, and be well. See you soon.